hey guys, we are going to cover 1.3 and 1.4 in this video. And let's just continue on this coffee narrative that we're on, right? So it says, in 2011, a home brewed cup of coffee cost $0.5 to make. Complete the sentence by calculating the missing number. So it says, in 2011, in Australia, you would have paid something times more for a shop-bought cup of coffee compared to a home-brewed. Okay, so shop-bought was $3. We know that from the question. So home-brewed was 0 0.5. So we need to use our calculator and say 3 divided by 0 0.5, that equals 6. If you don't believe me, put it into your calculator, right? So the answer there is 6. Okay, I don't know if you should write 6 like S-I-X, but it's 6. Okay, so it's basically saying it's a lot more expensive to go to a coffee shop and buy a coffee than it is to just make it at home. Okay, it's fairly intuitive because often homemade things are cheaper, right? Because you're not paying, you're not contributing towards profit and labor because you're putting in the labor and you don't make a profit off your own coffee when you're making it for yourself, um, unless you are a very shrewd businessman. But that is generally the case. Okay, so let us now move on to 1.4 where we have this lovely clicks. Uh, is it a receipt? Yeah, it looks like a receipt. Okay. After having done the research on coffee for this question, the examiner decided to purchase a coffee machine. Okay. So the examiner was like, it's six times cheaper to just make my own home brewed coffee. Let me go buy this um, machine and then I can just make it at home and save over the long term. Okay. The slip is included below. Study the slip carefully and answer the questions that follow. Okay. At what store was the coffee machine purchased? It was at Clicks. Okay. So just basically, I mean, this is a standard receipt. There's nothing particularly interesting here. The only thing they've let out is A, right? The value before that. So they're probably going to ask us to calculate the value before that. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty standard, right? Okay. We see that it's Clicks. Okay. Let's go into the next question here. State the selling price of the coffee machine. Selling price of the coffee machine was 1,299 Rand. Okay, nothing too hectic about that, right? That was all given, literally, we're just reading stuff off the slip. Okay, then it says, calculate the price of the coffee machine, excluding that. Okay, important, they want us to strip that out. Okay, the way we do this, guys, is we always divide it by 1.15. Okay, where does that come from? That is 15%. Okay, now you're saying, why do you divide it? What's going on, Margs? You're like not making any sense. Let me just quickly show you. Okay, so we know that the VAT price, right? Or we know that the price, sorry, the price that we're calculating here, excluding that, if we times that by 1.15, it gives us the price including that. Sorry, my spatial planning here was terrible. Okay, remember when we increase at something for that, we times it by 1.15. Okay, just always remember that. Some people do, they times it by 15% and then they add it back on. You can do that. It's exactly the same thing. So what we want to do is we want to get this by itself. Remember with bod mass, right? When we do bod mass, we division, undoes, multiplication, addition, undoes, subtraction. Here, we have multiplication, we divide both sides by that 1.15 to get the price by itself. Remember, anything divided by itself gives us one, so we're just gonna get the price by itself, okay? So that's why we say the price including that, and we divide it by, right, the 1.15, okay? If you don't understand that, guys, just go over it a couple of times, right? All I'm doing is I'm stripping out the VAT. We would expect our answer here to be less because we're stripping it out, right? Okay, so let's make sure that we are right. Okay, so our answer is 1,200, no, 1,129.57. Okay, so that is our answer. Okay, I rounded off to seven. Five is, remember, if it's five or greater, we round up. That's why it became a seven. You see that it's less than our price there. If we now multiply this answer by 1.15, like I showed you over here, it should get us back to that amount. And look, it does. Okay, so we know that this is correct. Okay, 
Let's now look at the last question for this video. It says, if club card holders were to receive a 25% discount on the selling price, calculate how much they would have paid for the coffee machine. Okay, so we know the price is 1229, right? So they're getting 25% off. So we're just going to say 25% times 1229. Why am I saying 229? It's 1299. Sorry, it's obviously I should just go to bed. Okay. Okay, so that is how much they get off. Okay. But that isn't how much they pay. That's how much they get off. And they've asked us for how much they would have paid. So now we have to say the price they would have paid minus their nice little chunky discount, right? Um, you don't have to say minus answer if you don't understand that. You can just put it in again. We'll give you the same thing, right? So they ended up paying 974 and 25 cents. Okay, so we would always expect this answer to be less than that amount because I got a discount. A discount means you get money off. Okay, that's important. Okay, that's us done for this video. Let's move on to 1.5.